Oh, it opens. There's the other gear. Okay, what does that one do? Opens up this. Hmm. Strangely shaped key. Some old faded tarot cards. Oh yeah, tarot cards are always very, very pleasant. Foretelling death and doom and gloom. Make sure there's no secret panels in here. Doesn't seem so. Oh. This controls the outside world. Okay, I think we're gonna get into music here. Okay, there's something in there. All right, so there's three different positions. Get it quickly. <laughs> okay. Not really sure what that did. I can't move it back, can I? No, I can. Okay. Hmm. That means I didn't simply progress something. I just moved something. Significant difference between the two. See if anything's changed here when I move this around. Hmm. I don't really know what that accomplished. One, four, two, five. Three, six. There are some numbers on this. Oh, what the? Uh. It's open now. Did I just get in on the right one? Solved it by accident. The best kind of salvation. Ah, right. There's another one. So, we flip it back. Metal plate. Looked like a wood sander for a minute there. What the hell is this thing? Hmm. Okay, what needs a key? This does. Alright, so these are still musical symbols. Just highly, highly stylized ones. That one looks like a heart. Aww. Um. Let's see, I see a symbol here. With three dots. 
These all have different numbers of dots, don't they? Two. Four. Two. Again. Two. Five. Two. I feel like there's a lot of twos. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shit, nine? So there's nine, I think? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, there's eight. The weird thing is, though, these other arrows or triangles don't have any symbols, but this one does. But it's so, so small, I can barely even freaking see it. I do see it has three dots. I'm not sure what's below it, though. Alright, any of these have three? I guess this one maybe has three. The one in the center counts as one. Okay. Did that do something? I mean, I still haven't gotten the key from here. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this. There's a symbol on the end of this key. That's the symbol for the five. Maybe. Oh. This changed. Interesting. Okay, now there's two immovable ones. And this one up here is lit. It looks like there's a single dot here. Single dot here, single dot here. Three dots here. Yeah, three dots there. So that's just telling me what position this is in. Okay. So let's try moving this to the one that has five like that. Let's see if that does anything. Because the key itself has five on the tip. Nope. Alright, see what this one does. This is two. Got the five again. It almost seems like these two things are supposed to come down to open something up. And what the hell is this? I never actually looked at this. Nor have I used this. Related in some way? Hmm. Hold on, let me look around and see if there's somewhere I can use these things. So I've solved that, I've solved this. I have not solved this. Hmm. Okay. Ah! Piano. That does not sound like a very good piano. It sounds really shitty, actually. Uh, what? Did I just solve it? It was those two? I thought it was these two, according to what's on there. I don't know. Whatever. Hmm. 
This thing sounds horribly out of tune or something. Anyway, this probably goes there. <laughs> that sounded terrible. I guess it's been here for so long, it probably just went out of tune or something. What does that do? Oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to mess with you. I think I scared it. Oh, it wants me to continue it, doesn't it? Okay. It seems very, very angry when I do that. Is it just hitting random keys? Or am I supposed to look at the ones that don't get pressed when he gets angry? Yeah, it's just random keys. Hmm. I wonder if this tells me what to play. Because I actually tried to play this. To continue the song and it didn't work. Yeah, it's that one and it's that one, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it is those two. I mean, I suppose I could do it by trial and error. Okay. It's the last one. Maybe it just wants me to repeat what it's doing? It does. That was mind-bogglingly easy. I wish it went on for longer. Alright, so these... go... Actually, I have no idea where these go. Holes. Looking for holes. Okay, that's done. This is done. That's done. That's obviously done. It's all done. Hmm. Maybe I just don't eat these yet. I guess I probably don't. I probably need to solve this first. Well, I think this is telling me what I need to place the others to. So I think this is saying the bottom right one needs to be placed to the four dots. So, bottom right. 
Four dots. But now what? Oh, maybe it's persistent. Like, this is going to stay there, so I just leave it, and then I set the other one. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, so what's the other one? Four... Tentacle arms. Okay. Squiggly wigglies. Got it. There we go. Yeah, so those things didn't move. But what did that do? Like, now what? Do I move this back? Maybe that will allow me to get to the key in here. No. No. Can I click on these side panels? No. Can only look at this thing head on. Oh, right, you reveal the buttons. There we go. <laughs> Sweet! Whoa! What is this? A freaking flux capacitor? Capacitors? Is this a warp drive? Ah. Symbols. Which reveal numbers? I see a three. How many numbers? Just three? Oh, I think I got them. Five, seven, three. Ah, that's what these would be for. We just keep spinning them. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm actually doing something. Am I am I solving a Rubik's Cube? This is a Rubik's Cube, isn't it? Uh what about this? I probably look there once I've solved it, I'm guessing. All I'm doing is moving it. I'm not actually twisting it or anything of the sort. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to gather all the pieces in there. Okay. Gotcha. So if I want the bottom right, then I would need to do this. Top right up here. I don't think that's right. Nope. Yeah, no, it's still not right. If 
pretty sure that's still not right. Alright, forget that one. Let's get this one. Top left. Now we gotta rotate this one. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Actually, he accidentally got the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, it's still gonna be the wrong one. I wonder if I can mess it up to the point where I need to put them back. I wonder if you even can put them back. Is that a thing? I kinda wanna know. You can't, okay. So, I definitely have not messed up. How is this gonna work? I feel like I have messed up. How... how in the fuck? You really can't put them back, huh? Nope. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's still not right. This is messing with my head. Oh, wait, I think I got it. There we go. A red gem and a metal plate. Man, I, this is actually a lot longer than I thought it would be. I thought I was going to be done in like 10 minutes after I started the episode. Holy crap. Alright, this is going to be a long one, I think. Damn it, I clicked out of the game again. Whoa, this isn't the right shape. Do these move? Oh god, is this a sliding block puzzle? Please no. Please, please no. Apparently it is. Uh. Hold on. I want to know what this is. The faint image of a house on this. Can you see it? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, I need the other gems. Okay. And once I've finished all of them, I suppose I can look through at them and something will happen. Whoa. Okay, so I'm seeing part of it, but I need the rest. Gotcha. So once I get them down here, I think I can just pop them out or something? No? Oh no, yeah, you can. That's what I thought. Eh... Uh. Shit. That doesn't help. No, it is seriously a sliding block puzzle. I hate them. They're like the most boring puzzle in existence. 
designed to do nothing but aggravate. Thankfully, this one's very easy. I can remove this again if I need to. I was just thinking. Yeah, I probably have to put these in the right order. Which order is the right order will probably be discovered here. That really doesn't help. Okay, well, the red one can't be removed, so that one has to be correct. Let's go one at a time, I guess. What the hell am I even supposed to be doing? Am I trying to recreate this symbol up here? Ooh, that looks... Yeah, that's correct. Okay. That one also looks correct. Which means this one goes here. Mm-hmm. Oh god, I think it's opening. It's opening. Hello, what is this? Tiny, tiny, tiny dots. They kind of look like dwellings. Towers. Buildings. Something. Oh, I can move this. Right, so it looks like the end goal is to get this thing in here. Oh. It says Talisman Music Box. It's one hell of a complicated music box, Jesus. Alright, how many different locations? One, two, three, four. Or no, no, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, so there's three different locations. Okay. Three different configurations. Trying stuff in the hopes that it will work. Hmm. Cause I gotta go here. Oh, almost there. Bingo. I have to line it up a certain way. And which way would that be? I feel like I'm missing something. This doesn't seem right. Oh. Hello. Another one. Hmm. 
and that didn't go anywhere. Okay, so I need to be on this one to get in here. So to get here, where do I need to go? Wait, what? What the hell did I do wrong? I think I just confused myself somehow. Let me do this again. Okay. To get in, I need to be here. To get here, I need to be... Here. To get here, I need to be... Oh, here we go. I need to be here. Oh, this one can be rotated. That's the end? You made it through. Unflustered, I hope, as there will surely be sterner tests to come. You have taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There is no way back. Not for any of us. For now, you are as trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. Okay, so, yeah. The story is just a flimsy, flimsy excuse to have a puzzle game, but, you know, I'm perfectly fine with that. Because, well, what interested me about this was the puzzles. Just, you know, touching and moving stuff around and fiddling with small objects and pulling and pushing and just interacting with stuff to solve puzzles. So, I wasn't expecting an extensive story and, well, I didn't get it, which is perfectly fine. Let's go back to the main menu. Yeah, that was a damn good game. Again, I'm not typically into puzzle games, but the very, very high fidelity of this one and just the amount of interaction and movement and, well, yeah, basically just interaction that you can have with the puzzles that you're solving and all the different elements of it is just really cool. Yeah, I really like just being able to interact and fiddle with stuff even if it's not necessary. You know, in games like Amnesia the Dark Descent and the Penumbra series, and uh, I'm sure there's other examples as well, of games where you can just move stuff around. And it's just, it's really satisfying. Now, of course, in this case, you do have to move stuff around to solve puzzles, so it's not um, unnecessary interaction. But nonetheless, it just feels really good. Although, this here is an unnecessary interaction. Yeah, fiddle with this thing. It's fun. Unfortunately, I can't turn the doorknob, which drives me a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun game, and I really enjoyed it. Hopefully you did as well, and thank you for watching.